most time for the bell How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter But first, let's get the mindset centered Hey, hey, let's go uh, We're not here to gamble, we're here to trade We follow the plan, that's how we get paid Testing, trading, have success Find what works for you and forget the rest Stats and probabilities is what we're about Time to dismiss greed and doubt Focus on the process, not the money And the profits will flow like honey Power our live, let's start the show Come on trade hackers, get ready to go Zero day options, time to make bank Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank Hey. Hey everyone, welcome to Power Hour Live, September 19th on a Thursday. Big overnight move. Little little uh, update move since the market opened. But S&P's up 104. NASDAQ up 550. Russell up 45. Dow up 560. Gold up half percent. Silver up 2%. Notes and bonds down. 10-year yield up 1.3%. Oil up 1.7%. Natty gas up 3%. All the grains are red. Euro in the pound, a little bit green. Bitcoin up almost 6%. VIX down 7%, sitting at 16.91. Little uh, delayed reaction after FOMC overnight. Woke up and saw the S&P was up 95 points. Currently up 100, so... Been just kind of grinding sideways to higher. I have not done any TLC trades today. After I got done with day trading this morning, I uh, I had to run out of the office and then I had a couple couple meetings. So I haven't done any trading. I did put on a uh, Vol Crush Forty Delta Long Strangle that is underwater. I need a I need a bounce for that. Um, and then I put on a little discretionary one four double calendar. I just I like the way that the market was moving higher and the VIX was moving higher. That typically bodes well for calendars. So I put on a one four that I'll take off tomorrow. I uh, just put on a early Wuga. It's up a little bit, and then I put on an OG Wuga that is a little off center. But that is it for me, Chad. How's your day? Yeah, it was great during day trading. So, made a nice big profit this morning. I did AM number one, I booked 20, and then it took forever to hit 40. It finally hit it, and then it wasn't long after it hit it that we had to push up and then stopped it out. So, but uh, it was 2040 and out, or I'm sorry, 2040 and then stopped. The uh, lunchtime number one I put on, I booked 20%. And then it was, again, it was, I think it was the down move happened. And it just, I ended up just, I mentioned it in my channel. I ended up just closing it out um, because it just, it was when we had that big pullback. Uh, let's see what, S&P dropped like. 20 points or something. And I was like, yeah, this has slippage written all over it. And I got a nice green. I'm, I'm green. So I just closed it. I think some of that was just from unfamiliarity at trading a day like today. Like I've never traded a TLC after a 50 point rate cut. Right. So I just, you know, there's no familiarity with what price is going to do throughout the day after a day after today or day after yesterday. Um, and then I jumped back into power hour number one after it, it popped up and and started showing a little bit of stability. And so I'm a little left of center on that one, but I need about a dollar for 20% on that one. And then I also Tried out one of those woogas that I'll let go to the bell. So that's where I'm at today. My PL says about plus eight grand. Nice. Which is about five of that was day trading today. I forgot I did 
add a couple of I turned all, I turned all my bots off from a BIC standpoint, but I did enter a couple here late. One got stopped out on the put side, and then the other one I'm still still going. I may add one more BIC tranche. I'm not sure I'm going to do any power hour iron condors. I've got the Wugas on, so I may just roll with my BICs and Wugas. There's some individual stocks with big up moves today. Tesla, that's when you caught big, I think, right? Yeah. So did you hear about my mistake? Uh -uh. So if you if if you um go into let's see. What was it here? So if you go in and try to cl uh put in a order, um for some reason when I clicked on it and it Right above create closing order, you know, that's where you go in and put in your like your 10%. Mm -hmm. Right above that was add to position for some reason. I'm not sure why, but I accidentally added to my Tesla position that I had on instead of putting in a working order that was 10%, you know? So um, it was really weird. I got like filled right away when I did it. I'm like, well, that's weird because price hasn't moved. And then I was like, oh, I just added six more contracts not putting in a working order for closing six if price were to move up so it was shortly after that price started shooting up so i was like okay well, i'll just let it ride <laughs> yeah uh dev d yeah i still have my ball crush on unfortunately it's underwater we get a little push up to the expected move area, though. It should get out of the valley. Chess master Johnny Cash on SPX. Uh, yeah, you could consider that. I um, I like to let it get closer, like this one here. That happened at about one fifteen. Just remember, I mean, that that's just that that trend line is just creating a line in the sand for you to manage risk around. There's nothing magic about it, just like there's nothing magic about any level. So, you know, for me, the closer it gets to it for entry, then if it flips, you're you're cutting out with minimal risk. I took off two of my five VXX. VRRs still have the uh, still have the vertical that still needs some more ball contraction and I closed out my UVXY for a nice profit now we're starting to see a little bit of VIX contraction but spx was grinding higher and so was the vix for a while there's 20 percent on my power hour number one Yeah, I'm, my main focus is definitely going to be using those VRRs tomorrow for sure. It just gives you so much more runway if you get another spike after you enter.
Here's the one four that I entered. It's down a little bit. Might put on one more big trade if I can. Trading at the same strikes I already have right now, though, so I'm going to just wait. Did anybody tranche all day in their BICs? I would assume they're doing okay. Haven't had any big Vs. Some little little dips and rips. I've done some of those tomorrow. I'm not a big fan though. They just take so long for any profit to come in and you've you know you've still got the range risk. So I just, I just kind of discarded them. I don't, they're not, I'm not a fan. So discount, did you trade the morning ones or just traded the afternoon ones? Okay. I mean, I assume the morning ones, the call side would have been stopped, but put side, put side should be good. Tesla up almost 7%, AMD up over 6, PayPal up 6, Baba up 4.5, NVIDIA up 4.5, Meta up 4, Apple up 4. Netflix up 2, Microsoft up 2. On the red side, Rocket Mortgage and DJT. Didn't get a bounce today like I was thinking we might since today's the first day those original sellers could sell or owners of that stock could sell. Thought it may have overdone it to the downside and we'd get a little bounce, but still going down. Boeing's a little bit red. Our gold VRR staying... Staying strong.
SPX's new all-time high, 57.33. And DX still has a ways to go, but up almost, it was up over 3% today. Dow up over 42,000 new highs. I guess after uh, after today, I can pay the city what I owe them for my Airbnb. I guess <laughs> Tesla Tesla got it for you. Yeah, actually, the lady in, lady ended up calling me yesterday. It's my surprise. So apparently, they it's just this new law they put in that they want seven and a half percent of your quarterly take in. <laughs> And three dollars per night rental. So if you rent it in a quarter, if you rent it seventy nights, you know, it's an extra two hundred and ten bucks on top of the seven seven and a half percent. And is that just Kansas City, Missouri? So if your property was in a it's, surrounding city, it wouldn't. It wouldn't that's Kansas City, Missouri. I don't know anything about having an Airbnb anywhere else. But um, so every at the end of every quarter, you got to go into your Quick Tax online and pay your your seven, whatever your whatever it is, you got to plug in your take take in from you how much you made. You know, for, the, for this upcoming one, it'd be July one to September thirtieth. You know, if you take in five grand, well, they get seven and a half percent of that, plus three dollars a night. Good to be the government, you know. <laughs> Good to be the government. And to be honest with you, the the lady that I talked to, she she's like, this is ridiculous. I know, I know it. You know, she. She knew it was ridiculous. I'd like to get a quick push up, get out of my 40 Delta strangle and then come back. Come back and range for Wooga. That would be my ideal scenario. Well, Elliot, did you tranche Bix all day? There's 40% of my power hour. No. Oh, boy. That's ugly. Well, they're proposing uh, taxing unrealized gains here. So that's, so we got that going for us.
I think you get to write off like two or three thousand dollars of your lot of your unrealized losses. <laughs> no matter how much you lose. So for tomorrow, Friday, no economic news reports, but FOMC member Harker speaking at 1 p.m. Central. They're showing it as medium impact. Due to speak at Tulane University in New Orleans. What's that? VXX. Oh, well, I guess when I posted my VXX exit, I had only got filled on one of two. I just got filled on the other one. All right. So I still have three on my VXX, VRR. Try to squeeze some more out of that one. Early Wooga, 31%. OG Wooga, up a little bit. Current premiums look uh, a little bit more in line with being able to get filled on a Mahomes today. Unless we get a big move. 20 butterfly trading for maybe 80 cents. That's what I need, discount between 10 and 30.
I'm going to close part of my 40 delta just to reduce some risk. I better get my financial juice turned on. FedEx. Man, just got stopped out of my power hour after 40%. Need a bounce. I'm just going to close my ball crush. I do not want to uh, expiration in the valley. What was I? Oh, yeah, FedEx. Uh, FedEx is uh, had a little pop, but it's looking, looking weak going into the close. Might look at a bearish fly, put fly. Got a 20, a little over 20 point expected move. which would put us down at about 280. No, I was looking at another TLC, but I do have in that account a on that has that strike. 
So I'm just going to ride ride to the end with the Woogas. Got one on in each account. Nice TLC day, 4035 bucks. That's what I'm doing in FedEx, little bearish butterfly. Twenty five pin would be ideal for my Wugas. Anywhere between fifteen and thirty or so. No, twenty five would be dead center for me. X is contracting, especially on every little tiny bounce. I need VXX for my vertical really to get down into the low 40s. Yep, nothing wrong with that discount. I just like to remove risk from one side and get a little directional on those. Yes, you're correct, Dark Avenger. That would be more probable because it's closer to the money.
Like the at the money butterflies are trading for over a dollar. If it's at the mid strike. A little over 30 minutes to go. SPX kind of trailing down for the last hour and a half. And VIX contracting for the last hour and a half. Previous three hours, VIX moving up, SPX moving up. Still get in for 10 wide, Chad. Strikes are occupied by Wooga. <laughs> excuses, excuses. Man, Wooga needs a bounce outside the break even.
I did just get my good luck charm arrive at my door, though, that I ordered. What's that? Show you. Blow pops. Oh yeah, a hundred blow top blow pops. No wonder you got to go to the dentist every other week. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when you trade, you, you you like eat some type of like liquid food. I use <laughs> blow pops. <laughs> So when I was in um, sixth grade, seventh grade, I used to go to uh, I used to go to Sam's Club and get those big boxes of those, and I'd sell them at school every day. Uh, what was it that you sold at school? Blow pops. <laughs> I'd go and buy the big big things at Sam's Club, and then I'd sell them. Sell them off for a profit at school every day <laughs> until until I got banned from doing it because kids were late to class because they were buying candy for me. Probably gum sticking underneath the desks. <laughs> Custodian probably didn't like you very much. I was making I was making a couple hundred dollars a week there for a while. I thought it was How old were you? Like sixth and seventh grade. <laughs> it's funny. Those fireballs and blow pops were my best sellers. Yeah, man. I think it helps with my trading anxiety. Early Wooga is up 46%. I'd say instead of started dealing as a youngster, I'd say started swindling as a youngster. <laughs> so 100, 100 blow pops, would that cost you? I'm trying to remember. I, th I think I sold them for a quarter a piece. Let's see here. And I was, make, I was making good profit. I don't remember what my profit margin was exactly. Off Amazon, twenty two bucks. Okay, so you're paying twenty two cents. So that yeah, a quarter wouldn't. I'd have to sell them for fifty cents today. Damn inflation! No kidding. to push up above 57.20. Oh, my other big seller was tear jerkers. Those are like real sour. I don't know if I've had those. Jawbreakers. They're kind of like jawbreakers, but they're super sour. But blow pops, they were definitely the best. Oh yeah. Everybody wanted the candy and the gum. It's, just, yep. it's a it's a good combo. It it's is a good combo. You can't beat it, man. I mean, those one suckers, uh the Tootsie Pop ones. What was that? How how long does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? Like it blow pops are way better than those.
I mean, those are fine too, but they just the inside is way more disappointing than the gum. Oh yeah. And then, but then when you get to that gum, it you can chew it for about five minutes. Before oh you yeah. Spit it out. Yeah, it's 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 awful. It does blow pretty good bubbles though. <laughs> Meta just hit highs of day. Microsoft not 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 involved in anything today. Yeah, Meta highs of day, Meta all time highs. Yeah, Microsoft just they, they had a little little pop the first five minutes and then yeah, nothing. That's it. Apple was strong early, kind of based out. Early Wooga hitting close to That's it. Get above 20. Twenty butterfly trend for about a dollar, maybe a little over a dollar. VIX is falling. VIX is falling Just... hard. Oh, I don't like that. Get back up there. Well, these butterflies are staying cheap.
Sure didn't stay above 20 very long. There's no scaling down with Mahomes. I only have one size, Kelvin. Uh, I closed one of my ricks. Actually, now that you mention it, I better check my other one. Yeah, it's down a little bit. Let's see. Let's see if there's a chance for it to get out. must be overlapping at the 1030 calls 6095 puts oh yeah I'm, I'm overlapping I'll just let it go. You get a push up, it'll will be a winner. That's my early one. I closed my late one for a scratch profit. This is my early one that's a little bit in the valley. Well, not a good day to start, Dev D. Butterfly staying cheap. Two minutes till MOC. Vix just falling out of bed. Almost to lows of day. Twenty butterflies still only trading for around a dollar, I think. Thirty seconds till MOC.
thinking about some place in balance the S&P 500 choose plus 6 billion to the sell side. 2.6 billion sell side. Not what I wanted. Any downside reaction? A few points. Now, Wuga went from fifty percent up fifty percent to down, just like that. Wow! Work in the tens and fifteens. Yeah, need a little bounce here. Work in the O fives. Sitting on the 10 and it's still trading pretty cheap. Maybe another no-go for Mahomes. We'll see. There's a little bounce. Wuga likes that. My Bix like that. Back up to 15. Yeah, Wuga needs it to finish above 15.
less than five minutes. I don't think the flies are trading for more than a buck sixty. Cancel my O five. So I'm looking the tens and fifteens. And it looked like it may get filled. It's right in between strikes, though. If we push a little closer to 10, it might get filled. The fifteens are closer. It's naughty dog time. Two and a half minutes to go. Looks like my bot's trying to fire. to get to a strike. Looks like the 15 should be filling, but nothing yet. Filling on the tens. Partial fill. There's some more. One more. I filled five of 20 on the tens. There's two more. Six more. Filled. Filled on the tens. All right, let's bounce now. We got one minute. Now we need a bounce. My bot filled as well. So I got my last fill on toss at fifty eight forty eight. And my bot filled at, oh, verticals locked. Boom. Ba-boom. Get up to the 20s. So 58. Yeah, my bot filled one second after my last butterfly filled. Get up. Get up. Ah, came back down. Five seconds. Mark up. Mark it up for Wooga. Settling in at 1367. So my bot got out of the valley. It'll be a small winner. My main Mahomes locked in a 2K profit. 
my Wuga was a 20% loss. I got filled at, oh, I got filled on one of my butterflies at 215. So I got a little, little extra bump to $2,015. My Wugas. Early Wuga was a about a fourteen hundred dollar winner. OG Wuga, oh OG Wuga loser, max loser. So those about cancel each other out. I'll have about minus a hundred and some dollars on Wuga with the combined early and early and OG. All right, all that is it for today. Happy post. FOMC day. Tomorrow is another day. Tomorrow's Friday, the 20th. So Chad will be streaming live in the morning. He's going to show us how to make mistakes on Tesla. And then um, we'll be back for power hour tomorrow afternoon. Take care, all. Cheers.